What's going on everybody? It is Ethan here with another cars review where today I will be reviewing Damage King. So this is the original Raceo Rama Damage King. So yeah, as you can see, we got the nice artwork there with him, you know, crashed. Raceo Rama, of course. On the back, it just, you know, has like a little advertisement for the website, stuff like that, you know, all the information. This is, of course, made in China because this was before they went to Thailand. And yeah, made by Mattel. So yeah, let's get the Damage King out of the package. All right, everyone, now that we have Damage the King out of the package, well, let's take a closer look at him. So, of course, unlike the normal King, this King has a matte sort of finish, which I really like because, you know, of course, he's all broken and crashed, you know. And, of course, up here we got the bent spoiler, which I'm pretty sure in the movie it is not connected to the diecast, but that doesn't really matter. Like, it's not too big of a deal. Um, as you can see, he's got these kind of green grass stains. Which on the newer 2022 release, which I do not have yet, it's like the more, it's more black and more like stuff like that. On this one, it's more like green. But yeah, as you can see, we got the 43 with all the sponsors right there. Which I'm really surprised that the detail is that good on this. Like the sponsors are really clear. Of course, we got these silver rims. On the hood, of course, we have the Donico logo with some like grass stains. Um, you can kind of tell right here, but he has a little bit of a smile going on. So I guess this is supposed to be when, um, after the race, I'd say, and when he's with his wife. But yeah, then we got the sponsors again on the other side, number 43, Donico. On the back, we got some more. 43, Donico again. Of course, on the base, it says, there's all the information, you know, if you want to read that. Yeah. All right, so here's a better look at him in some better lighting. As you can see, you can see the dirt a lot more in the lighting, you know, like on the hood and the roof and the spoiler. I really do really love this diecast. Like, it just, it's really great. So let's do a comparison between the normal King. Of course, you know, the normal King has a glossy finish. This one has a matte finish. Uh, I really like the expression, how his, like, eyes are like that. Got the side. Which, this is the, um, Thailand variant of the king, which his sponsors aren't really too clear to read, but... Nonetheless, it's still alright. The back. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Damage the King. One other thing I'd like to point out is that this diecast actually does come with a little poster here. Um, we got some other cars on here, which if you guys want me to get any of these and review them, just drop a comment. You know, of course, we got the Cactus McQueen, the New Mater, Mario Andretti. I want to get the Ferrari. That one looks cool. You, the Dinoco McQueen. And on the back, we just got um, some of the tuners, Doc, McQueen. That pity looks nice. And Fillmore. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed, please drop a Mondo like. And subscribe for more cars content. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.